Why, hello there. And welcome to today's Pick a Card reading, which is in collaboration with none other than the Draconic Priestess. And I just want to say this is a big deal because the Draconic Priestess usually presents really amazing collective messages. So when I reached out for the possibility of a Pick a Card, I didn't expect to get a yes. <laughs> so imagine my surprise, my joy when she was like, let's do it. We collaborated our beautiful minds and came up with the concept of heroes and villains. Over there, you will find out all about your hero era, while right here on this channel, we're going to tap into your villainous era. Now, please keep in mind that being in your villain era does not make you a bad person. When we came up with this concept, the villain, aka this pick a card idea, is presented to you in regards to when you put the collective behind yourself, when you're selfish versus the hero who is in the selfless position. It's always, always, always about balance. So be sure to tune into this video here about your villainous era and tune into that video there linked down below, Draconic Priestess for your hero era. I'm super duper excited. I want you to tap into this energy by giving me your most diabolical laugh. Oh, ha, ha. I don't really have one if I'm being quite honest, but. I feel like sometimes my own laugh can just be villainous enough. But if you have an evil laugh, please send it to me energetically. I want to hear it. I want to feel it. I want to experience it. But no long talking. Let's go ahead and get into this video. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to, to take a peek at the Draconic Priestess and her many, many, many personas that she's going to be presenting with each group. So please give love for the divine effort, please. And if you want to see what I am for Halloween, then head on over to my Instagram, which will be in the description box down below. But I'll give you a hint. The first thing that I was for Halloween was a belly dancer. And today I'm debating on being a belly dancer again, or do I just want to be a villain and dress in all black? Ooh, mysterious. We'll see. We'll find out. But I digress. We've long talked enough. Let's go ahead and get started and tap into your villain arrow. Group number one, you chose the image of none other than Maleficent. So let's go ahead and find out what's got you in your villain era. Sit back, relax, enjoy the shuffle. It's a great way to practice patience. It's a great way to meditate and concentrate. What's got you in your villain era, group number one? You're questioning everything and it's pissing people off. You're in a world of your own and it's pissing people off. You're asking questions and it's pissing people off. Um, some of you have literally been active at your city hall or you've been protesting or you've been informing people. For some of you, this has to do with a divorce as well. What you recently seem to be doing with your time has you in your villain era. The way that you're redefining love somehow has you in your villain era. 
because again it's making people uncomfortable it's pissing people off because something about what you're doing the direction that you're headed in your beliefs directly contradicts with the majority or people's lifestyle yeah i split the deck to burning bowl ritual you are literally doing what people feel like is trying to burn down or control the system This is an interesting way to put this. You are being viewed as the villain because you're massaging the rough spots, the trouble spots, the one the areas that hurt. You're you're hitting people where it hurts. But oh, I just mixed my friends back in there. Hold on, let me find them again. But the thing is, babes is that everyone knows that if you massage the spots that hurt, that means that you're ultimately healing those spots. Eh. You are the villain because you're not letting people ignore or avoid the, the sore spots or the things that need to be addressed. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here because I lost the cards. They're somewhere in this mix. And that lets me know that you, there they are you're doing this and maybe like disappearing so you could be saying little things making what i'm hearing is smart remarks but they're truthful and that's what's making you the villain that's what's got you in your villain era for some of you it's got to do with he said she said behind these walls well let's bring them in the same room let's do something about it transparency and seeing right through people places situations and conversations you you're in your villain era because you're pissing people off but with the truth with the right thing We have connect with your ancestors, journal, hydrate, connect with crystals. And bottom of the deck, use your hands. Yeah, you're getting your hands dirty. You're getting in there. For someone specific, something that you've discovered or found that belonged to an elder or an ancestor or their will, that's got you in your villain era because again it's pissing people off you are questioning and or testing and or challenging the status quo and this is why you are currently viewed as being in your villain era because people are viewing you as selfish for trying to go against the grain not even trying for going against the grain period You are taking divine direction and or instruction. And the the real term here for this group is what's got you in your villain areas that you're pissing people off by challenging the status quo. Like everything that you're doing here that's got to do with reconstruction, reconfiguring, reshaping. It's pissing people off. One card at a time, please. You've also peeped some sort of truth here. For some of you, you're reading between the lines with something. Yeah, because then we have look for fairies to come out here and fairies can be perceived as like uh, tricky or trickster energies, but they trick with the intention to correct or to test to see if you're who you say you are, to see if you do what you say you do.
yeah, put those words, those thoughts into action. You're in your villain era, apparently. Because you expect people to do what they say they're going to do. There's this uh, addressing the elephant in the room that's got you in your villain era. Because it's actually common etiquette that is widely accepted by society to not address the elephant in the room. To ignore the things that we all are thinking and seeing and feeling. And you're no longer in that energy. You're no longer participating. I feel like you're in your villain era because for some of you, you are doing this with like a he 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 in your heart. But it's because you're beyond done. You're beyond pretending. Putting up the facades or participating in the fake routines. Wow, as I say fake routines, Virgo, the ruler of routines comes out here. Bottom of the deck Uranus. Your energy is coming across as yeah, like you're you're listening to what people are saying and then how dare you expect to see to experience what they're saying you know how some people could just like overhype things and that'll just be enough no if someone overhypes something around you you are going to question them about like okay where is it how do i experience it where show me and that puts people on the spot. You're putting people on the spot where usually things would just slide. Someone says that they could do a back handspring. You're like, oh, do it. Like, we want to see. And then they look at you crazy because you're asking for proof, for evidence for something that they claim that they can do. You're like, oh, I, I just want to see. You said you can Also with this Virgo energy, you've got this detective or all seeing eye about you where you can see the truth before the truth is spoken. And so you could be provoking people to be more honest, be like, okay, and what do you mean by that? Okay, expand further. I'm giving them like that, I, I see you. I'm waiting for you to put it on display because I can see what's behind the veil, but I need you to put it out front. You are testing people's gangsta. That's the best way I could put that. You're testing people's gangsta in who they claim to be. You're like, okay, show me then. If that's who you claim to be, show me. And that's throwing people off. They don't like that. When in reality, the core of you just wants the truth. And wants to show why the lies, the deception, the stretching of the truth or the show off type of energy was unnecessary. That's why this testy, like, trickster, fairy type of energy is here. Because that's how the fairies are. That's how the fae, that's how they do. They will test your gangsta. Like, oh, you said you could fly? Well, they're going to remove the ground from underneath your feet so you could prove it. Group number one, that's why you're currently in your villain era. Because you're testing people's gangsta. I respect it. 
If you would like to book a personal reading, first link in the description box down below. If you're interested in Patreon, that's where we have extra special content that you won't catch here on the main channel. We have a new video every single week. That'll be the second link in the description box down below. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, there is a PO box as well as a virtual tip chart. I thank you in advance. Uh, and if you want to support this channel for free skis, give this video a thumbs up. Leave them in the comment section down below. Share this video with a friend and hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified whenever I pull up new content just like this. And of course, of course, of course, linked down below is the hero aspect of this collaboration from our girl, Dracon priestess i'll see you in the comment section over there ta-ta for now group number two you chose the image of chucky i just want to do like my <laughs> laugh <laughs> what the fuck what's going on here You ended some shit. You wrapping some shit up. You tow some shit down. Let's see what's going on here. Tap me in my group number twos. What's got my group number twos in their villain era? Why do people think that they are being selfish in their villain era? Talk to me about my group. Number twos. Use this time to meditate and learn to be patient. Thank you. While I get the energies going. Okay. 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 You're being forthright about your shadows. Maybe even bragging about your shortcomings or like your dirty deeds or your like you, it's almost as if you're making people uncomfortable by sharing the parts of yourself that you were once uncomfortable with to show people that you don't have to be uncomfortable. You are revealing aspects of yourself. This could also be looking like you facing your fears like directly like head on like you're afraid of spiders so you go on like some fear factor shiz and you're in a room covered in snakes cockroaches spiders and bugs oh my and people are like oh my god what a freak and you're like yeah yeah i am i'm also seeing the joker in my mind's eye right now too what's going on here you are taking your place your role for some of you as the leader or just as the head freak in charge like the now nah, hold on we ain't talking about freak offs like diddy no 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 this is like you know how there's like the anime group or there's like this group or that group and there's like people that are into like the furry lifestyle like you are normalizing something <laughs> for some of you it's normalizing what could come across as arrogance when it comes to people questioning your authority and you being a little bit more controlling and or demanding in charge it's giving what is that like man eater woman eater kind of energy is do they call it a woman eater if it's a whatever um you're also using what would be considered like darker attributes to win like you know you're sexy you're using your sexiness to your advantage you know that people are obsessed with your feet you're using your feet to your advantage something like that and you're not hiding it what's got my group number twos in their villain era 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 era
this is something that past ancestors or just back in the olden days they were fine with this but you're normalizing it today for some of you it's got to do with i don't know this is very 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 random sprinkled in here oh see exactly sprinkle sprinkle um for some of you it's got to do with like your dating life and how you're using your shadow attributes to benefit you there or to take advantage of whatever is there for you because again the villain era is simply you putting yourself before others. So you are in some way putting yourself before others. For some of you, it's got to do with relationships, like romantic relationships, marriages. One card at a time, please. Perfect bottom of the deck is look at the stars okay so for some of you it could just literally be astrology or just like drawing on astronomical energies okay didn't i say man eater woman eater can i show this yeah yeah i could show that that's not bad it's just a little cheek action there number 44 i just see you like walking in somewhere just knocking everything off the table like cups of liquid just knocking it off the table damn as i say that i spit to the the water here oh that's literally you okay so how you are being the villain currently is because you're like walking in fuck your feelings that's at least that's the the way that it's being personified here is like forget your feelings forget the feelings like for me being the reader, I see that you're really just saying like, yeah, like your feelings may matter, but not here. Like, I, I don't know. There's something like that. Tell me what's got my group number twos in their villain era, please. Like you're demanding, you're in control. It's fuck your feelings. It's what I know. Yeah, the sun, as I said, it's what I know. The sun, Pluto, Libra scorpio yeah this has got to do with you taking full control in love connections and a relationship so you're showing up as the villain in your love life in love in general or just in relations with people because you could be being viewed as like the 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 one that's in control yeah the manipulator or the one that's molding the situation if you don't want to use the word manipulate but you are in control and that's why you are being viewed as a villain because it's like you you're being viewed as like having the the puppeteer type strings does this not look like this is what's at the bottom of the deck for you does this not look like strings like if a hand was up here controlling in their back like a ventriloquist and the sun comes right back out but you're doing it right in their faces we have neptune here yeah there's this vibe where people are like seeing you as a villain because they can't process or understand who what when or why or how you have so much control over your partner your partners or in your relationship relationships romantic platonic whatever it may be but you've got them whipped into shape You've got them on lock. Like, they're at your every beck and call. You whisper, they're there listening. And you're using that to your advantage. And that's what's got my group number twos in their villain era, honey. Yeah, it seems like you've turned the tables. For some of you, this is a situation where maybe instead of leaving a toxic relationship, you became more toxic than the toxic one. I'm laughing because I'm in my villain era right now. I'm laughing with you, darling. It's funny. It is funny if the manipulator gets manipulated. I'm I'm going to laugh. I'm going to laugh. It's funny. Okay? But this is all that I have for my group number two. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Make sure you head on over to the hero aspect of this reading. The Draconic Priestess will be linked down below. Give this video a thumbs up to support the channel for free skis. Comment down below. Share this video with a friend. And hit subscribe as well as the bell to be notified whenever I pull up a new content just like this.
okay and if you're interested in booking a personal reading first link in the description box down below second link is patreon new videos every single week over there on patreon there's three different tiers so make sure you read to find out which tier is the best option for you and if you like to donate to the channel there's a p.o box as well as a virtual tip jar seeing spider-man in my mind's eye for some reason someone needs to know that but this is all that i have for you until next time take care be well ta-ta for now bye group number three darling you chose the image of none other than jason jason okay so lots of aces ace of cups ace of wands there's something here about like your popularity like your villain area area what your villain era will bring you fame fortune success i'm not joking the the scale of that is determined on you your lifestyle your choices and the changes that you're making let's get into it uh okay ah you could even be like the type that they love to hate dive in let's get it temperance yeah like it's giving like they either love you or hate you but i promise it won't make you or break you Your personality or something has a heavy hit. Or for some of you, y'all better not be out here hitting people. Y'all better not be getting violent for real. But no, there's something about you that's like, yeah, no. You pack a heavy punch. But they just showed me the, showed me the four of swords. It lets me know that you're not doing this. It's your energy that packs a punch. It's potent. Knocking. Oh. <laughs> Knocking them out like Rocky. Let's see. Yeah, the star with the hangman, the sun, and the two of swords. There's something here about you being undefeated. Your villain era, you being undefeated. Exactly, 9-9. Nine, nine. Heavyweight champ type shiz. 9-9-9. Nine, nine, nine. Heavyweight champ. Heavy hitter. Heavy hitter. Like, top three, not three. Not two, but the one. What is this? What's got my group number threes in their villain era? Yeah, refusing to be last, refusing to be second. Yeah, so second to none. So what's got you in your villain era is literally the definition of this reading. The villain is described as the one that puts themselves first before the collective before others. That's you. You refuse to be put behind anyone or anything else. Like literally all you see is you. All you think of is you. Is this not Jason himself? Come on now. Just picture the crown as a mask and he's got a sword. Like, what's going on here? You're also like taking control of people's minds or lives or um, something like this here. Like, you have heavy influence heavy heavy influence whoa 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 float like a butterfly sting like a bee i'm telling you it's something about like packing a heavy punch like look so the emperor came out and who flew all the way over there the empress empress page of pentacles the tower here you are redefining something which is making something difficult for other people <clears throat> reconstruction era yes you've got people shaking in their boots if they have to go up against you if they're your opponent if they are your enemy if they are not with you they're against you um, i'm also catching that that uh that lyric and if you ain't complimenting, you offended. That was the weekend. He's like, if you ain't complimenting me, then you're offending me. Like it's giving that kind of energy here. Let's see. Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Page of Swords is what falls out. Page of Cups is at the bottom of the deck.
it's interesting because it's like it's it's something that's seemingly small or this is how they perceive you to be seemingly small but mighty basically what's got you in your villain era is that what what once seemed to be so small is what has you feeling mighty let's pull more there's also a like a hush that's gone over this reading like at first it was like whoa 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 now it's like a silence like we're very focused and concentrated on what you're doing For some of you, your villain era looks like you withholding knowledge, information, or withholding your own energy. Yeah, artist comes out here. Expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses, inspiring others to live life symbolically. Again, that influential type of energy that I was referring to. But also with this here, you seem to be in between something or you have yet to say something. Like someone's waiting on your response or they're waiting on you to make your next drop. Exactly. Pioneer. They want to know what direction you're going in. How is that? putting you in your villain era oh because you're putting yourself first you don't give a fuck about them wanting you to drop or wanting you to do something shut up i just split the deck to rocky our heavy mother and hitter six build strength that's what's got you in your villain era is that you may be in a silent area silent era silent zone but that's because you're getting your your muscle up 47 sound healing bottom of the deck meditate yes you're downloading information getting ready to radiate it again you are you're in the in-between right now uh, because again you're the one that's expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses which means that not everyone can tap into this so we're literally waiting on you to do it and I think that right now what's got you in your villain era is actually that you're quiet. That you're playing small. Because people know that you're gonna like pop out. Oh, that reminds me of a song I was singing earlier. I'm coming out so you better get this party started. Yeah, Uranus. I split the deck to Uranus. Unexpected. Like people are like on alert, like jumping, waiting, ready for you to drop. Wait, ready, waiting for you to just do something. Waiting for you to uh, state your point in case here, exactly. To do your thing, which you were chosen to do. What's at the bottom of the deck here? The moon. To do what comes natural to you. Ah, uh, your feelings. But not like oh like I'm in my feelings it's more of I'm following my feelings I'm listening to my feelings I don't care if you want me to go now I'm gonna go when I need to go and that's what's got you in your villain era interesting oh that's another thing too so another thing that's got you in your villain era is you in whatever way withholding energy or keeping to yourself it's like loading you up right now I'm smelling like really strong smoke um, like from incense, from Palo Santo, from the incense cones. I'm sensing like even like just straight up smoke from a fire. But it's like you're you're smoldering or you're you're smoking people out or something like that here. There is a waiting energy here. It's interesting because your your villain era is you like doing nothing or loading or preparing or again playing smaller than what people know that you can do. And it's got people on the edge of their seat like okay when are you gonna pop out when are you gonna do this when are you gonna do that what are you doing what are you it's got it's like I'm it's nervous. Also you holding back is just making you like hot sexy fire people can't even handle you honey but i digress babes this is all that i have for you thank you for tuning in here 
of course you already know very first link in the description box is to book a personal reading second link in the description box for patreon we get new videos every single week over there check us out there's multiple tiers make sure you join the tier that best suits your lifestyle your needs your budget okay and if you like to donate to the channel there is a p.o box as well as a virtual tip jar in the description box down below i thank you in advance and if you want to support the channel for free skis give this video a thumbs up leave love in the comment section down below share this video with a friend as well as hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified whenever i pull up new content just like this and of of course of course of course you have to tune into the draconic priestess link down below for the hero aspect of this reading i look forward to seeing her looks over there and the energy that she serves along with it ta-ta for now